Hey everyone, it's KLJ here, and I'm here with a Rank Up 3 tutorial, so let's get started. Alright, so for this first jump, I always see a lot of people fail on it. Uh, so the easiest way to do it, well at least for me, is to try to jump from around this corner to that corner. That's just to minimize the distance that you have to jump. And for these other block jumps, it's, it's just really practice and timing. So for here, you can choose to skip this little part by jumping from the cauldron here. And just jump into this little gap here. And now, many players would decide to go to the haystack, jump on there to over here. Or you can just jump from here to over to here. Alright, so we're at the ladders here. It's best to point your camera a bit outwards and just walk and jump. You don't really need a sprint. Same thing here. Walk and jump. Face your camera a bit out. Alright, now we're at the fence jumps. So, um, let me see if I can explain anything. Um, you definitely want a sprint key by now. If you don't have a sprint key by now, or you're not using it, then you should definitely try to practice with it. Because fence jumps using double tap W can be challenging at times. And to prevent overshooting it, you can uh, like press shift in advance while you're still in midair, and that can stop you from overshooting certain jumps. And again, if you're having trouble with these, it's just all about practice. Alright, now we're at the iron trap doors here. Pretty much the only tip I have to give is to not stop on each trap door and just momentum all of them. What that means, if you don't know already, is to just run straight across while timing your jumps correctly. So let's try this. Uh, hold on, I got a pop up somewhere. Alright, let's try this. Alright, so we made it across the trap doors. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. And these are just some three block jumps, and what you really don't want to do is try to cheat it by going onto the sides. When I first beat the trap doors on three, I tried going on the side because I didn't want to do these jumps, and yeah, I fell back down. There are barriers there. Ah, oh, are you freaking kidding me? Alright. Uh, should I even cut that out? I don't know. Alright, I'll just try to make it there as fast as I can. Oh, what is this? I keep getting problems. Alright. Alright, so we're back across here. I'll just answer this guy's question. Alright, if you didn't know already, you can shift onto the side of ladders like this and you can hang onto them. I don't know if a lot of players know that, but when I was rank 3, I actually didn't know that. And that continued until rank 5 until I finally discovered it. Alright. So, for here, yeah, you would definitely want to use a spring key and to just. Face your camera a bit outwards so you don't hit the side of the ladder. And once you arrive at the side of the ladder, just hold shift and you can hang on to it. Alright, so we're at the final ladder jump here. And it's a 2.5 ceiling, so you actually hit your head on it. So what I like to do is to just shift to the very edge, let go of shift, and then just press W in space, like, in really quick succession. Like, as soon as you hit W, press space. Like that. And if you didn't know what I just did, it'll help if you try it out yourself in single player. Alright, so... Let's see, this is a 3.5 jump. So you would really want to be careful doing this one. Because it may look easy, but then... 
A lot of players do fail it. I remember I failed it when I was three. Alright, now for this one, you really don't want to fail it or else you'll have to restart the entire course. So just shift to the very edge, hold down your screen key, and then press W in space again in quick succession like I did with that last ladder over there. Like that. Alright, so we're pretty much done with level 3 here. These are just some 3 by 1 ups. Nothing too hard. And these jumps can be scary, but they're not big jumps at all, luckily. And now you're at the end of three. Um, since I do have a lot of time remaining, I guess I can show a few shortcuts, actually. Should I even bother? I don't know. If you just care about ranking up to 3, you can stop watching right now. I just want to show a few shortcuts that I can do if you're trying to speedrun 3 or something. Ah. Oh, come on, why can't I make this? Alright, there we go. Now, once you make it to this room, uh, I accidentally dropped down. You could go onto this little ledge here. And this is actually a double Neo, which you can jump across. Okay, I just failed that, but it's a double Neo that I can jump across. Uh, if you're trying to speedrun through, it can save you a bit of time. It's a single Neo. And you really don't have to go into this room, you can just skip from this block into this room. So, this could be some helpful tips if you're trying to speedrun through, I guess. Uh, there's mu not much more I can say, actually, so I'm end the video now. Bye.